panel, we agree that most people still vote randomly. Most people still have no idea about who they are trying to vote. And we agree that most people are still arguing whenever they have even an ideology. But in here, we don't agree that this kind of matter or problem are going to be able to be solved by a panel's motion. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I'm going to tell to you what uh, the status correct now. The status correct now is that there's actually a bias in, edu in education where at least people are more likely going to be able to get a high quality education and they're going to be able to pass the test and they're going to be able to vote based on their interest. And meanwhile, the poor people are not having the good quality of education and they're not going to be able to represent their voice and with this kind of uh, uh, entry pass and they're not going to be able to represent uh, their, their group of people. First of all, I'm going to be able to, I'm going to rebuttal uh, some of the arguments that have been spoken by the Prime Minister. First of all, they say that people don't understand about the ideology principle. Well, first of all, it is not required to vote because of what? Because they only take a look at the interest of the politician that they want to vote, not take a look about uh, what is democracy, what is the ideology, and etc. And also, even if they don't know about the this kind of ideology, democracy, and etc., they, they are still going to be able to vote because they only need to know about the interests of the politician. They don't have to know about the, you know, for example, like democracy, what is democracy, what is the ideology, and etc. They only need to take a look about the interests of the politician in order to vote based on their interests, right? And that's why in here, it is not actually required to vote. And second of all, why this thing is not uh, really good? Most people are going to fall. Because of what? Because uh, of course that in test there will be a people who is actually going to fail, right? And this why it's actually going to be uh, decreasing the number of voters and it's actually not going to be maximizing the number of voters, right? And also uh, the, sec the, the third of all, and also so government should actually uh, Governments will actually uh, improve in the quality of the, of the education, for example, by achieving many more. And second, they say that people not know about politicians. Well, first of all, uh, by giving the test, of course that uh, people don't have any idea about, about the photo, right? And if they are required to test to take a test in order to vote, of course that they're, they're, they're not going to be able to be interested. And of course the number of photos is going to be decreased because, because of what? Because people are going to be lazy to take a test and they will be like, oh, it's not, it, it is so hard and they will think that it is actually going to be so, uh, uh, be a problematic to them. And of course they're not going to be, uh, to be, uh, to be the next photo because of what? Because they will not be interested, right? Because they have to take the test in order to uh, vote. And that's why, uh, second, Actually, it is actually requiring the, the candidate to go further, right? To explain the political, to, to explain their political plan, to explain the interest to the society in the uh, country, right? For example, if you want to be uh, recognized by the society, of course, that you have to be the one who share your uh, interest, who, who start campaigning in the society, and of course, by doing that, of course, the, the people, the society, will actually recognize you, and of course, they will be knowledgeable enough to put. Uh, who they want to choose in the next election, right? And that's why in here it is actually not about uh, you know uh, they have to require to take a test in order to be able to know the candidate, right? They have to to uh, to uh, to look at the uh, the the politician uh, who actually uh, start campaigning, right, and, and etc. In order to in order to be noticed by the society, and of course by doing that uh, the society is going to be able to vote. Uh, uh, they are not they are going to be able to to not vote randomly in the next election, right? And that's why in here uh, I'm going to tell you for argument. I'm going to tell you uh, to argument about why why it is effective and why it is justified. Why is it is that it is uh, justified on our side? First of all, uh, why it is effective on our side because of what? First of all, OG claimed that the most people don't know about the voter, right? Well. Of course, that uh, they choose randomly, right? And of course, that's why when there's an entry barrier where people have to take a test uh, in order to vote, of course, uh, there will be so many people who is not interested in taking the test, and of course, the number of voters is not going to be is going to be increased and it's, it's going to be decreased because of what? Because they they will not take the test and because they will not be interested, and that is why in our uh, side it, it will be more effective because of what? Because people don't have to take the test in order to vote, and they will be just like uh, going to the uh, place to take a vote and they will start voting, right? There, there, there is no any requirement in order to vote uh, in, for the next, the next candidate. And second of all, the test is actually biased. Like, like what I've already told to you, that uh, of course that uh, there is actually the two group of people, a rich people and also a poor people. Of course that rich people are going to be more, like, more likely to pass because of what? Because they go to the good quality of education, they get a good quality of education, they go to the good school because of what? Because they have money. Meanwhile, poor people are not going to get the same chance with the rich people and of course uh, uh, the rich people are going to be more likely to fail the test and the rich people are going to pass the test because of what? Because they go to the good school and they get a good quality of education and etc. And what is actually going to be happening? And of course there will be uh, not represent, not, not represent, uh, the, the, the voter is actually not represent, 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 re, representing the, 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 the society because of what? Because there will be so many people uh, 
not represent not representing their uh, group, and that's why uh, the number of voters who is actually going to be passed is from the rich family. It's going to be uh, from the rich people, right? And of course, they only they only care about their interests. They only care about their business because of because of uh, they only care about their uh, interest and business. And by and because of this, of course, that the 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 candidate, the politician is going to that, that's going to be chosen. Of course, that coming from a people uh, who is only taking a look about the interests of the rich people, and that's why it is not going to be uh, represent. represent representing our society, right? And that is why the goal that we want to achieve, where the, polit what the, where the politics is actually going to be good, is not, is not going to be achieved because of what? That is still not the representation. The, 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 the voter is not representing from all kind of society, from poor people, from rich people, and etc. The, the, the number of voters from poor people is going to be uh, not shared by the, the society. And third, it is not going to be maximizing the number of voters because of what? Because the politics is all about re representation, and that's why we have to increase the number of the number of voters because of what? By doing so, of course, that it's going to be re representing our society. It's, it's going to be equal. It's going to be. Uh, and that's why it's going to be equal. And also, why it is still justified in our style? Because uh, people have the right to vote, right? And, and that's why by limitizing them to vote, it's actually simply simply just uh, taking their right to choose, right? It's, it's not only really justified in their side because they are taking the right to choose. They are taking the right to actually participate in uh, to, uh, in, in choosing what their country wants to be. And that's why it is not justified. And second, why it is still okay to not... Uh, to not uh, Give a general test for the election because of what it only requires the interest of the person, right? Whenever we want to uh, vote, of course that we are only uh, have to find a, a candidate who is uh, sharing the same interest with us, right? And that is why uh, it's actually uh, people who vote, uh, even though that they have no idea about what, what ideology, even though that they are coming from the uneducated background, of course that they still have an interest because of what they have a problem. They have they they know what they need, right? Even though that they are. Uh, not educated, they still know what they need from the from the country. That is why, uh, even if that they are not educated, they still have the interest, and that is why the the voter is still going to be a is, is still going to be a thoughtable decision. The voter who uh, who put uh, for the candidate is still going to be uh, is still going to be thoughtable, and that is why in our side we have proved to you our scenario is better than the scenario that proposed by the prime minister because of what? Because in here we have an increased number of. Uh, and also we are we are representing all society and that's why we are proud to oppose thank you